really fast. Yes, and of course the warm temperatures are also causing some rapid snow melting as well. So the combination of the two is certainly not helping out that situation. So what are we watching in the First Alert Weather Center? Better chances for rain again this weekend, and there will be the threat of severe weather tomorrow in some areas. And then we have some cooler temperatures on Sunday. Right now, our satellite and radar, it's not too bad. This is actually dry compared to what we've been experiencing lately. A couple thunderstorms out there in the central mountains. There's been a little bit down near Trinidad, and we have some that are leaving uh, parts of uh, Larimer and Weld County. But in northeastern Colorado, we still have a little bit of action. This is not severe. There's some heavy rain. There's some lightning, but that's about it out there. In Denver, we remain on the dry side. Can't rule out still maybe a shower tonight, but this may actually be a dry day for the Denver area. Tomorrow morning, we're going to wake up to sunshine, and then once again, we will see the chance of some afternoon and evening thunderstorms. Just like today, they should be more on the isolated side. We'll see a few more in the high country, and then as those storms pop out toward the eastern plains, it could get very, very intense out there. The threat of severe weather tomorrow is pretty high. Out on the southeastern part of the state, we're in that slight risk, and I know a lot of folks think that slight risk doesn't mean that there's a great chance. If you have any uh, storm prediction center outlook over your area, there's a pretty good chance of some thunderstorms. We rarely get moderate to high in Colorado. Yellow is about normally as high as we get, so that means there's a really good chance of some big thunderstorms out that way tomorrow. Taking a look at our drought monitor, it was updated today. This is what it looked like two weeks ago. We still had extreme and exceptional drought in southeastern Colorado. As of today, that is completely gone. We just have about 0.25% left of severe drought, and we have about 1% left of moderate drought. That went down 5% in the last week. Everything else is just mod uh, abnormally dry areas, but we've seen a big chunk of the eastern plains clear out from their drought conditions, so that is excellent, excellent news. Let's take a look at those temperatures. We're sitting at 77 in Denver, 79 in Greeley, 70s, 80s out east, 50s or 60s, 70s in the high country, and tomorrow we get to 80 in Denver, 79 in Boulder, 80s out on the eastern plains, close to 90 in the southeast, so warm temperatures help fuel those big thunderstorms, 60s, 70s as we head off to the west. Now on Saturday, we do start to get that rain to uh, chances to get more widespread, so the potential for rain this weekend in terms of totals, we may see about an inch of rain around the front range and into northeastern Colorado. Everyone else should be less than an inch, but this would be weekend totals. So just like last weekend, it was really soggy out there. We're looking to do it again. And then on Sunday, 68 degrees for us. A good uh, chance of rain continues on Sunday. Very similar to last Sunday. 68 in Denver, Boulder, and Fort Collins. 60s, uh, 70s out east, but staying warm off to the west. 89 over in Grand Junction. Then we slowly build by Wednesday of next week, 76. And we may see the 80s make a comeback by Thursday. That's it, normal. I know. It mm. seems so so abnormal that we haven't enjoyed any warm days so far. And it is extremely abnormal. The whole, almost the whole month of June has been below normal. Yeah. All yeah. right, Lauren, thank you.